This one? No, 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 no. I This one kind of matches my jacket. Ooh. How about a blade? Just how do you choose a new pickleball paddle? Stay tuned. Finding a pickleball paddle does not have to be as difficult as looking for a polar bear in a snowstorm. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. As a golf professional and a ski professional, I've learned a couple of things about equipment. It's a little bit of science and a lot of feel and personal preference. And that translates into new pickleball paddles as well. However, there's two factors that have helped me whenever I'm choosing a new paddle. One is weight, the second one is the grip size. The weight of the paddle is gonna influence your reaction time as well as your swing speed. In general, pickleball paddles range somewhere in weight between six ounces to a high of around 14 ounces. Think of it this way, the lighter the paddle, it's usually built for more control and finesse. The heavier the paddle, the more power or drive you'll get from it. Conversely, if you pick a paddle that's too heavy for your swing speed, you may develop arm or shoulder problems. So an appropriate level is important for you. What I found for myself is I prefer paddles that weigh somewhere between 7.5 ounces and 7.9 ounces. It may not sound like a lot, but that little bit of extra weight on my arm really can take its toll when I'm out there playing for a couple of hours. Truly, the best way to find out what's right for you is to give it a try. What feels best to you? The second factor is the grip size. Remember this, you can usually make a grip that's too small larger, but it's pretty difficult to make a grip that's too large smaller. If you get a grip that's too big for you, it's going to be difficult to hold on to the paddle. Conversely, if you get a grip that's too small, it can cause a lot of additional stress to your arm. A general rule of thumb is if you hold the paddle, you should be able to fit the finger of your non-paddle hand snugly in between the tips of your fingers and the pad of your hand. There are other things to take into consideration. Noise, do you play indoors or outdoors? Do you want a paddle that has an edge or is edgeless? and certainly the price. My best advice to you in picking a paddle, try it before you buy it. There's several manufacturers out there who have great demo programs or 30-day money-back guarantees. Now, while all of this might sound complicated, I've done some research for you and I put together a blog post. In fact, if you click the link that just popped up somewhere up here on the screen, it'll take you right to it with some of the best resources out there that'll help you to pick a great pickleball paddle and one that fits your game. I'd love to know what you're currently playing with. Make sure you put it down below in the comments and tell me what it is that you'll like about that paddle. I'm kind of a paddle horse as you can see here with me. I like new paddles and I like to try new things. So tell me what you're playing with. If you'd like to know whenever I post a new video, make sure you click on the subscribe button over here. I think it's on this side. It's a red button and you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Together, we can train smart, live bold, and age well.